Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys and I'm back due to this coronavirus and pandemic. Well, this video, I took old charms that I found lying around the house from broken jewelry and I remade them into jewelry for my daughter. So, as you can see, we will be making this bracelet right here. It's basically a classic single band with these rings looped in, all right? So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is pick your charm. You don't have to pick charms like this, but they do need to have two different holes on the side. So for old times sakes, I will be picking rainbow bands for my outside, which is equivalent to the silver, and then silver rings, which is the equivalent of the blue that you see here. All right, so I'm making a bracelet for my three-year-old daughter. So these are the number of bands that I'm going to use. Your wrist is probably gonna be bigger, so I'll leave a formula for how many bands you're gonna need in the description of this video. All right, first thing you wanna do is grab your first band and pinch it and loop it into that hole on the side of the charm, okay? Now, once it's through, this is the tricky part, you're gonna to wanna to put one end on your pointer or index finger, and then the other end on your middle finger. So you wanna hold down on one end and then get this other end through that finger, just like so. Then you're gonna to wanna to get this other end. You can see I'm holding down with my pointer finger just like that so it doesn't loosen. And put the other end through the middle finger, okay? That's probably the hardest part of this. So once it's through, you wanna pull down as much as you can, okay? Then you're gonna grab a ring color, mine which is silver, and you wanna double loop it around your middle finger. So I'm gonna do that by putting it on, pulling it, twisting it, and then using my thumb to hold down on the intersection. And now you have it double looped around your middle finger, okay? You're gonna pull the two right ends all the way down and over only the right side of that bottom band, okay? Next, you're gonna grab your next color, mine which is neon orange and put it over both fingers just like so. Then you're gonna grab that bottom band, which is pink, and pull it over both sides. All right. Next, you're gonna grab both ends of that ring band, the double looped ring band, and bring it completely over and to the center, okay? Now bring those two remaining bands on your fingers down as much as possible. Next, you're gonna grab a ring band again and double loop it around your middle finger. So one, again, twist it, hold it down with your thumb and bring that over. And then grab these two ends and bring it all the way down over the right side of that bottom band. Then grab your next band, yellow, and bring it over the top. So now you wanna grab that bottom band and bring it over one and over the left, okay? Then bring both ends of that ring band and bring it over, okay? There you go, so that's basically two sequences that I just did. All right, next, we're going to bring that down and then grab 
another ring band, double loop it, again, loop it around, use your thumb, hold down on the intersection, bring that other end over, grab the two right ends and bring it down and over that bottom band. Grab your next band in line, put it over. Now grab that bottom band, bring it over on the right, then bring it over on the left, and then bring the two right ends of that ring band up and over. Okay, pull down. Another ring band, double loop, twist, hold down with your thumb, bring it over, and then bring both right ends of that ring band down and over that bottom band. Grab your next band, lime green, put it over, and then grab that bottom band and bring it up and over, up and over, both ends of that ring band, up and over, and then pull down, right? So you're just repeating this sequence over and over until it's long enough. You can either eyeball it, or you can use the formula in the description, but I'm just going to continue Double loop a ring band, use your thumb, pinch down, grab both ends of that ring band and bring it up and over the right side of that bottom band. Next band, up and over, bring the bottom of that bottom band up on the right and on the left and both ends of the ring band up and over. Pull down, bring this down, another ring, one, two, bring that both ends of the right down and over, and then last band. Bring this up, bring this up, and both ends of that ring band up and over. Okay, like I said, this is a bracelet for my three-year-old daughter, so it doesn't really require that many bands. At this point, I'm going to C-clip it. Easiest way is to put it on your fingers, stretch it out so it's nice and thin over here. Take the C-clip, go in through, and then pull it and go in through the other side. Okay, once you have both sides, you're good. Tuck on it a little bit. And there you have it. We're done with one side of that charm bracelet. And now we have to do the same exact thing on the other side. Okay, if you see it hanging out like that, you can kind of pinch it to make the rings neater. All right, so now I'm gonna start on the other side. First thing, I need to grab me the same color that I started with, which is pink, pinch it, and then sew it through. When it's halfway there, hold on to one end, and then put the other end through your index finger, then pull, and get your middle finger through that, okay? Now this is all the same thing that we did before. Grab a ring band, double loop it around your middle finger, okay? Pull the right ends all the way up and over the right side of that bottom band. Then grab another band, put it over, then grab the right side of that bottom band and bring it up over one side up over the other side and then grab both ends of that ring band on the bottom up 
and over. Then bring that band down. Another ring band, double loop. Okay. Bring the right end down and over the right side of that bottom band. Next band, up and over. Bring that bottom band up, left side up as well. And bring both ends of that ring band up and over. Pull down, another ring band. Double loop on the middle finger. Bring the right side of that all the way down and over that bottom band. Grab your next band. Line green. Bring that bottom right up. Left up. Then two rings up. And over. Now pull down ring band, double loop, and grab the right side and bring it up and over that bottom band. Next band, over and bring that bottom band up. One, two, and then both sides of that ring band on the bottom, up and over. Now pull, bring this down, Double loop, one, two, bring both right ends down and over that bottom band, next band, turquoise, bring that bottom band up and over, left side up and over, and both sides of that right ring up and over. Pull down, again, ring band, double loop, and bring these down, over, then last band, up and over, bring the right side up, left side up, and then both parts of that ring band up. And now, you just have to C-clip it. So, I'm gonna find the end of that C-clip, tug on it, and then I'm going to grab one end over here, just like this, pull it off, and then the other end, pull it just like that. All right, so there you have it. Again, you can pinch on the rings, tug on it. You can see the links. Uh, that is a finished bracelet. All right, this is Rob from Justin's Toys. This video is probably a little rusty because it's been a while, but that is a finger looming bracelet. Hope you enjoy this video. And remember, first five comments will get you a free charm. So thumbs up on this video, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Bye.